Hey everyone, in this video I talk about my experience at Maker Faire. Maker Faire is an annual convention put on in the Bay Area by Make Magazine, and this year I had the opportunity to put on a booth about amateur chemistry. While I was there, I did a few demonstrations and also got to see a lot of cool things, so in this video I'll do my best to show what I did and what I saw. I had a few audio problems with my camera during the trip, so I'm going to be talking over a lot of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. One of the first things that happened at the fair was I had the opportunity to be interviewed by Make Magazine. Um, this was really cool because one of the reasons I went to this fair was to spread the news about amateur chemistry as a hobby, and I think this is a great way to uh, get the word out. Uh, during the interview, I put on one of my demonstrations, which was the blue bottle. For more information on that, you can see my video on it. I had two other demonstrations I was doing throughout the fair. One where I isolated caffeine from energy drinks, you can also see my video, and one where I started a fire with water using negative X, which is a mixture of zinc dust, ammonium nitrate, and sodium chloride. I'll be showing those uh, two demonstrations later in the video. Here's a video of me performing the isolation of caffeine demonstration where I took dichloromethane and used that as a solvent to extract caffeine from an energy shot. Um, the crowd was pretty entertained by this. I think it went pretty well. I did it about eight times during the course of two days, and by the end was left with a bottle with a pretty sizable amount of reasonably pure caffeine. One of my favorite demonstrations was the Water Starts a Fire, which is the one I'm doing right now. So I'm mixing sodium chloride, ammonium nitrate, and zinc in a Ziploc baggie, and I'm about to add that to the aluminum foil that's wrapped around that crucible there. So, there it is. And I'm adding a squirt of water for my wash bottle that gets the reaction going. This one got a lot of interest. Anyway, let's check out the other awesome things I got to see at the fair. Maker Fair is a pretty fun and eccentric place. For example, I got to see a few driving cupcakes. I'm here at Maker's Fair in the tech room, um, checking out a 3D so printer. Just, um, at a, uh, it looks pretty cool, made out of acrylic. I saw a lot of 3D printers at Maker's Fair, printing in a variety of different plastics, and some of them were available to purchase as kits. What are you printing out of? Uh, this is PLA. It's a corn-based uh, thermoplastic. Why not? A or why not? Yeah. Why not ABS? Uh, ABS has some uh, problems where it'll warp as the lower layers cool while the upper layers are still printing. Oh. And PLA doesn't have that problem, so it's a lot easier to print with. Why is that one on glass? Uh, that is hot. If you print PLA onto hot glass, it sticks really well. Oh, is that one that just came off? Yeah, it's That's nice and toasty. Yeah. It'll, it'll pop right off. Tell me a little bit about uh, your microscope here. Uh, this is a scanning electron microscope. So it works by focusing a beam of electrons down to a specimen at the bottom of the column. 
And by scanning across the specimen and recording the secondary electron emission from the specimen, it generates an image on the oscilloscope over there. So to record the images, I've just been using my camera to take pictures of the oscilloscope. Yeah. How long did it take you to uh, make this? Uh, about three or four months of, of pretty good concentration. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, this is a completely analog one. While walking around in the expo, I smelled the ever-familiar smell of nitrogen dioxide. And um, sure enough, a few feet away there was a Jacob's Ladder, so very cool. Um, it is a organ hooked up to a uh, keyboard, and it's running off of uh, compressed air. So I'll get my mic hooked up to these. Outside, there's a cool part of the fair called the Crucible, where a lot of demonstrations involving fire are performed. There I got to see some metallurgy and glass blowing, as well as a thermite demonstration put on by Jeffrey Schwartz, the author of the awesome website AmazingRust.com. Well, today I'm going to do a thermite demonstration, which is a thermite is a mixture of iron oxide and aluminum powder, and when they react, it gives off an incredible amount of heat, so much so that it produces molten iron metal that's going to, that's going to pour out the bottom of this flower pot and splash, and splash around and uh, uh, collect at the bottom in a, in a pool of sand. Thank you. And you have a website with more information about these types of reactions, right? I do. Uh, my website is AmazingRust.com, and on that website I have numerous pictures and videos of, of thermite and other chemical reactions I've made, and um, content for my website is, is widely used in, in schools across the country, and also, also available in the, the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago, Illinois. Excellent. I, I know I've used it before myself, so let's take a look at uh, this reaction. All right. <laughs> There it goes. I'm at the bottom. It's dripping. Alright, that was a 5 kilogram reaction, so uh, now we're going to see an 8 kilogram reaction, which is awesome. Here we go. It's about to get awesome. So here I'm in the dark room at Maker's Fair. Um, a lot of cool stuff going on in here. Last year they had these two twin Tesla coils uh, play the national anthem. So I think we're going to be hearing some music come out of these at some point during the fair. And uh, I believe there's going to be a guy in that cage too. So cool electrical show in here. It's hard to capture all that Maker Fair is in one video, but I hope you got an idea from this. Um, I had a ton of fun there, and I'll hopefully be returning next year. So, 
yeah, thank you for watching, and um, hope to see you there.